Good morning everyone, so today we're going to continue looking at tenths. So yesterday we had some sequences like this where we were counting up in tenths. So we have one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. So what can we remember from yesterday that always stays the same when we're counting up in tenths? So the denominator always stays the same but the numerator changes. So have a think about what you can remember from yesterday and have a think what you think would be the next fraction in this sequence here. So it would be eight tenths because we know that before it was seven tenths. So we're counting up in one tenth each time. Here, we have a different way of showing tenths. So we have a shape which is split into 10 equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And because there is one part of this shape shaded in, that shows that this shape here represents one tenth. So what do we think that this shape would represent if it has two parts shaded in? It would represent two tenths. So we can see here that we've gone from one tenth to two tenths. Now let's look at this one here. This, this one has one, two, three, three parts shaded in. So that means that this one equals three tenths. Now we're going to look at this one. And this one has no part shaded in, but we're going to shade in what we think would be the next tenths in the sequence. So we have one tenth, two tenths, three tenths. What do we think would be the next tenths in the sequence? It would be four tenths. That means that we need to shade in four parts of the sequence. So one two, three, four. And that means that four parts shaded in equals four, our numerator, then our vinculum, and then our denominator, which is 10. So have a look at these sequences, because this is a different way to write temps and it's a different way to, to make sequences from yesterday. Have a think about what you learned from yesterday and see if you can complete your maths work for today.